Hi, I'm Ben Stark, and this is your Move of the Week. We're going to be working on uh, head and arm into arm and guillotine. Okay, so whether we get to head and arm or we sprawl them out, whatever, my neck side arm is going to have a chin strap. I'm going to cup his chin. The head of my shoulder is going to be on that bony nugget in the back of his neck. I want to give a lot of weight here. I want to open up his neck with my hand. Okay, so I'm pulling up on his neck and driving my weight down here. My other hand is going to be a swan neck grip on his tricep. Okay, I'm going to give him a bit of a pull to open him up and shoot my hand through and grab the tricep. Okay, now as you can see, he's fully collapsed and the neck's open. I need this arm on his throat. So when I get here, I'm going to gable grip and shove it across and then re-grip on the tricep. Okay, so if he postured up, you'd see his arm is underneath his chin, okay? From here, I'll gable grip, and then switch to a guillotine, okay? From my guillotine grip, my foot will step out, and my inside leg is gonna make a C shape and cut all the way across. So my right knee will be on his left hip. My shin will act like a belt across his center, all right? So we're in, arms across, in our guillotine grip. Step up to where you're comfortable, my weight will shift into my right shoulder, and my knee will swing inside. My foot is important that it's here on the hip. My leg will go over top. All my weight goes into my choking elbow. I'll push my hip and pull my hands in a J motion, okay? So when you're on your side, you're gonna roll in and pull your hand up, trying to put your palm on that shoulder here. From the opposite side, you open him up, cross, shove the arm, switch to a guillotine grip, step up, and sit through. My foot is on his hip, come over, my elbow goes to the floor, and my hips go up. One more time, from behind. Turn. We've got our placement, open them up, go to our gable grip, shove the arm, switch to our guillotine grip, slide hard underneath, foot on the hip, foot over, elbow down, hand up. It's really important that your shin's on his belt line and your foot is hooked on the hip. This gives you protection if they actually start to escape. This choke sets in really fast, but if you get a tough guy or a guy that's hard to choke, they might start to move. This is your defense, which we'll get to in another technique. Okay? When pulling, it's important that your elbow goes into the floor and your hand comes up here. The choke's not so much about your forearm being in their neck, because remember, the, the, their arm is in, it's like a katagatami. So it's a squeezing and tension, just like when you turn the corner on the head and arm triangle. And that, my friends, is your move of the week.